Since my last video, I have been asked about drive shaft plunge. I will try and explain that the best that I can. I have a two piece drive shaft up under there. And the reason why I moved my four link bars from here, because they angled down too far to get to the connecting point here, I am angling them parallel with the ground. As you can see right here, this is all at right height, 10 and a quarter inches There's right height from the frame to the axle. So now with my four link bracket right there, my four link brackets will be parallel, but I have to lengthen these bars in order to get them to reach. So the best way I can explain that is with the travel of the rear axle moving up and down, by extending the pivot point farther out, you get less drive shaft plunge. So this is my little diagram. This is a two inch wheel, which represents my 20 inch Detroit steel wheels. And this is 2.3 inches from here to the pivot point. And this is where the drive shaft is. So I put them all online so that you can see where they are. The distance from here to here is the same on the next diagram will be from here to here with my pivot point being right here. So I'm going to put this right in the center right there and you'll be able to see the arch. Uh, this is kind of hard to do one handed by doing it that way. Now let me extend it here. Okay. Now to go from this point, oh, almost to the minute, oops. From this point to the middle of the wheel. Sorry, there we go. Now we'll swing it up to that. And look at the difference in the lines. Can you see how this one went one and a half lines, whereas this one went one, two lines? So what that does is when the wheel goes up that far and in that far, it push, pushes the drive line. You can tell my mate homemade compass here with zip ties and a pencil, so you know it's gonna work. The drive shaft plunges in and out right here a lot farther on this arch than it does on this arch.